Well, this week we've been looking at love and we've looked at various aspects of love and how love is manifested and how it should infuse our lives as Christians and all that we do. The challenge of 1 Corinthians chapter 13 is very high. It's a very difficult challenge there because most of our actions compared with what the scripture says fall short. And so many times, you know, when we fall short, we, we say, well, I can't do it and, and we leave it. But the important thing for us to do as Christians is to know God's standard and expectation and work and trust him that he will make us be what he wants us to be. So don't abandon uh, the effort to really manifest the love of God. Let it be our pursuit. Let it be our standard. Let it be our ideal. So we look at the last of our exposition on love from 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. Love is the ultimate of Christian maturity. How do you know a Christian has matured or has grown uh, in, in their Christian life? It's love. So Paul is teaching, he says, love is the sign of Christian maturity. And so he talks about when he's a child. Children are naturally selfish and it takes a lot of maturity to share. When children have something, they don't easily want to give it out. It takes a lot of maturity to share. And so Paul is saying, when I was a child, I spoke as a child, I understood as a child, I thought as a child. There's a progression there. I thought as a child. That, that means it's a mindset. It's the way you think. And then he says, I understood as a child. In other words, I processed everything through my childishness. And then he said, I spoke as a child. So... If I'm going to stop being a child, it doesn't start by stopping to speak like a child. You have to think differently, you have to understand differently, and then you speak differently. Because everything is coming from our thought patterns, our mindset, the mindset of a child. Childish things are appropriate for children. When children behave as children, it's cute. But when adults behave like children, it's not cute. It's not nice. And so Paul says, maybe there is a point in our Christian life when we behave like children spiritually. And when we are selfish and we are petulant and we throw tantrums and, and we get upset and we get angry. But he says, after we mature, we must put away these childish things. You can't always be seeking for revenge and vengeance and talking about uh, jealousy and, 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 and envy. We cannot have a spiritual life full of people who pray against their enemies and spend their time praying all night prayers, coming against the enemies, praying for the death of enemies, praying for fire over their enemies. That is the prayer of children who want to get even. But the prayer of Christ, the mature Christ, is, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. We are going to make our whole Christian life uh, just a manifestation of our anger and our frustration and our tantrums. We are children. We are babies in Christ. And babies in Christ cannot receive the mature gifts of God that he gives to adults in Christ. And so Paul says, when I became a man, that means that he went through a process. There was a time when he was a child, both naturally and figuratively in his spiritual life. But he became a man. And that's where God wants each one of us to be. To be a man means, simply means to be an adult, to mature, to grow, to be able to put away things that just give us instant gratification and make us just feel happy for the moment. We are looking for the eternal and for the things that last forever. And that's what true mature Christianity is all about. Let's pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, help me to grow spiritually. Make me more and more like Christ in my thoughts and actions. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, I'll catch you again tomorrow. I'm Pastor Mensah Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.